dear scholars welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well in this video i am going to discuss with you environmental education firstly we will discuss nature meaning and importance of environmental education then different programs of environmental education so let us get started environmental education refers to the process of learning about the environment and the various challenges and issues it faces it encompasses a wide range of topics related to the natural world conservation sustainability and the interconnections between humans and their environment here is the nature meaning and importance of environmental education nature and meaning Number first, interdisciplinary approach. Environmental education draws from various disciplines, including biology, ecology, geology, sociology, and economics, to provide a comprehensive understanding of environmental issues. Number second is holistic approach. It considers the interconnectedness of environmental, social, and economic systems, emphasizing the importance of balance and sustainability. Number third is experiential learning environmental education often involves hands-on activities outdoor experiences and field studies to foster a deeper connection with nature number four is awareness and action it aims to raise awareness about environmental challenges and inspire individuals to take responsible and sustainable actions in their daily lives number fifth is problem solving environmental education equips learners with critical thinking and problem solving skills to address complex environmental issues now let us discuss importance of environmental education number first environmental conservation it promotes an understanding of the value of biodiversity ecosystems and natural resources leading to more responsible conservation efforts Number second is sustainability. Environmental education teaches the principles of sustainable living and development crucial for preserving the planet for future generations. Number third, citizen engagement. It empowers individuals to participate in environmental decision making, advocate for policies and support initiatives that protect the environment. Number four is health and well-being. Understanding environmental factors that affect health such as air and water quality can led to improved public health practices can lead to improved public health practices number 5th responsible consumption it in it encourages responsible consumption and waste reduction contributing to a more sustainable and eco-friendly lifestyle Number six, climate change mitigation. Environmental education informs individuals about climate change causes and solutions, fostering support for climate action. Number seven is stewardship. It instills a sense of environmental stewardship, encouraging people to take responsibility for the care of their local environment. Number eight, economic benefits. A well-informed population can drive green innovation entrepreneurship and the creation of environmentally sustainable jobs number nine cultural and ethical values environmental education often integrates cultural and ethical perspectives emphasizing the importance of respecting nature and indigenous knowledge number 10 global awareness it promotes global awareness of environmental challenges fostering international cooperation and environmental diplomacy in summary environmental education plays a crucial role in creating environmentally literate and responsible citizens who can contribute to the preservation of the planet and the well-being of current and future generations it is a vital tool in addressing pressing environmental issues and building a sustainable harmonious relationship between humans and the natural world now let us discuss programs of environmental education environmental education programs are designed to educate individuals about environmental issues conservation and sustainability these programs can take various forms and are often tailored to different audiences from school children to adults here are some common types of environmental education programs number first is formal education programs and in this we have school curriculum Many countries incorporate environmental education into their formal school curricula, teaching students about environmental concepts, issues, and conservation. Environmental science courses. Educational institutions offer specialized courses in environmental science, ecology, and sustainability at various levels. 
from high school to college and beyond. Environmental clubs. Schools may establish environmental clubs and eco-school programs to engage students in hands-on environmental activities and projects. Number second is non-formal education programs. Nature centers. Environmental education centers and nature reserves provide opportunities for visitors to learn about local ecosystems, wildlife and conservation through exhibits, guided tours and workshops. Zoos and aquariums. Many zoos and aquariums have educational programs that focus on wildlife conservation, biodiversity and habitat protection. Outdoor education camps. These programs offer immersive outdoor experiences such as camping, hiking and field studies to teach participants about nature and ecology. Environmental workshops and seminars. Organizations often organize workshops, seminars and conferences to educate adults and professionals on educational topics and sustainability practices. Number third is community-based programs. Community cleanup events. Local communities often organize cleanup events to raise awareness about littering and pollution while improving the local environment. Then we have community gardens. Programs that establish community gardens teach residents about sustainable agriculture and the importance of green spaces in urban areas. Environmental advocacy groups. Non-profit organizations and advocacy groups work to educate and mobilize communities on specific environmental issues such as climate change or conservation efforts. Number fourth is online and digital programs. Online courses. Many educational platforms offer free or paid online courses on environmental topics, making education accessible to a global audience. Webinars and virtual tours. Webinars, virtual tours and interactive website provide opportunities for remote learning about the environment and conservation efforts. Educational apps and games. Mobile apps and games can engage users of all ages in learning about environmental issues in an interactive way. Number fifth is government and NGO initiatives. Environmental outreach programs. Government agencies and non-governmental organizations often run outreach programs to inform the public about specific environmental policies, regulations and initiatives. Conservation projects. NGOs and government entities may undertake conservation projects that involve public education and community engagement. Number six is corporate and workplace programs, corporate sustainability initiatives. Some companies incorporate environmental education and sustainability programs for employees, promoting eco-friendly practices in the workplace. Green certification programs. Business and organizations may participate in certification programs that focus on environmentally responsible practices and educate employees about sustainability. These various environmental education programs aim to raise awareness, promote responsible behavior and empower individuals and communities to take action in conserving and protecting the environment. They play a critical role in addressing environmental challenges and fostering a sense of stewardship for the natural world. So this is all about environmental education to be continued more to come. Hope you enjoyed this video. If really, then like, share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel and enjoy watching the videos.